Welcome back again guys, my name is Osbaut. So earlier on I showed you guys how to create Adobe Photoshop presets that you can use in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I'll be showing you guys how to create Adobe Photoshop presets that you can use in Lightroom and also in Lightroom Mobile. That is for those that edit with uh, mobile phones. I'll show you guys how to create your custom presets for Lightroom. Normally, presets are automatically synced to the cloud and to Lightroom on all your devices. But for those that are probably not using the same details on their mobile phone and PC, you can also export them manually to either sell or install on your Lightroom mobile. So we'll start by opening Lightroom. Here, yeah, I already have the picture selected import them you can also use this for uh let's say a wedding photographer you can easily just edit your pictures this way as well so i'll start with this we'll go to develop so this is our image okay so what we'll do here is actually uh simply we'll just adjust this this uh settings just tweak the colors a bit and um adjust the image to whatever look we want to achieve or whatever look we like and we export it as a preset then we'll apply that preset on this remaining two images right here so let's start Okay, so I think I'm okay with this a bit, so I can just add uh, a little bit of graduated filter. Yes. So 
So let's see if and after put this. So A is before and A is after. So this is the normal image, the original image, and this is the uh, one we just edited just by just uh, just by tweaking the colors a bit and we'll save this as a preset and apply it on this other images so you can easily do that by going to the preset tab here then you click this plus button then go to create preset then you is you simply just select the settings you want Lightroom to export uh, when creating the preset so I also used gray paper filter so it's selected here so let's just give this um, let's just give it a random let's see OSB Magenta. So we can either save it inside the um, the Lightroom default folder for custom presets, which is user preset, or create a new group. So I'll create a new group. So let's see Lightroom new, then create. So we have a preset here, light from here. So you can easily apply it on this other images by clicking this. There you go. So here's before and here's after. I'm actually liking the after though. So that's it can easily apply it on this as well just click it as before and here's after so just by creating the presets here we automatically edited two images just within a few seconds so you can easily export the preset as well for Photoshop or uh, you can just go to Photoshop and select it. But let's say you don't want to be stressing to look for the presets. You can easily just right click here and go to show in finder. If you click show in finder, it's going to show you the presets, the location of the presets on your system. But let's say you don't want to be stressing to look for the location. You can easily just so you can easily just export the presets You can also do the same thing on Photoshop. The same thing we did on Lightroom. You can also do it in Photoshop, and I will show you how to do that. So we'll simply go to Filter, Camera Raw, and the same way we tweaked that image there. You can easily just try and uh, do the same settings. Well, it might not be exactly the same thing. Sorry, it might not be exactly the same thing for can just try to get something out of this so we are simply doing the same thing we did on on Lightroom we are simply doing the same we are doing the same thing on 
for this shop. So we have this already. We will just simply go to create presets. Then you have all this stuff checked. You can also create a new group or you can save it in the Lightroom group we created. So let's save this in the new group. Let's see. Photoshop. Then let's see. Or SB1. So as you click okay you have this preset already so i can i can decide to cancel that image uh that's it that edit i did and apply it using the presets we created which is as preset always be one then you load it and we have the presets So to export the presets into Lightroom Mobile via Photoshop or Lightroom is actually quite easy. All you have to do is export the picture as DNG file. But it's actually a bit tricky because let's say you intend to sell the preset. You don't want your prospective buyer to uh, download uh, one file for like maybe uh, 10 MB or 20 MB. You actually want them to get a file that is small, probably be like 500 kilobyte or maybe just one megabyte or something. So you have to make sure the image you're using as your DNG is actually a reduced fashion. So for example, let's say we'll be applying the preset on this picture, like we already did here. So let's say we'll be applying, we want to export the preset using this picture. So you go to export, say for web. This is just to reduce the size of the file we are using. So we'll put this to like 40. We have like 487 kilobytes. Let's see. Let's see. Can now import the picture here in Lightroom. I already did that. Then you apply the presets, which is this. Then you go to File, Export to Presets, Export to DNG, which I already did here. So you can just save it. Let's just see if I write. Then you have your DNG file here. So you can easily mail this to yourself or you can airdrop it to your mobile phone. Okay, so let's say um, you already got the file to your phone via airdrop. And here you have the file. 
it's it's a rough fire actually so that's why it's, it's displaying like this so i'll just open lightroom then i'll import the picture from camera roll yeah. so here's our picture containing the preset so to extract the preset from this picture we'll tap those three two button create presets then we'll give this a name let's say um the same name we, we, we used in light from press be magenta then let's save it inside this or you can even create a new group tutorial dmg done so we have a preset saved then we'll go back and select a new picture from a camera roll or we can select a new picture from a file we can use this picture thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe I'll be uploading more videos on the channel. I also dropped a link to download the presets for free, the one I created during this tutorial. I hope to see you soon.